Welcome to our design and coding tutorial. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to create a circle with rounded ends for each quadrant, similar to the sleek Apple Watch activity ring. Our viewer has successfully divided a circle into quadrants, but is struggling with rounding the ends and maintaining a gap between each section. They shared an image and some code, but they're encountering unexpected behavior. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To create a circle with rounded ends for each quadrant, we first need to define the radius and the stroke width of our arcs. In this case, we will use a radius of 100 points and a stroke width of 18 points. Next, we will create a function called arc segment. This function will generate the path for each arc segment, taking into account the radius, stroke width, and the gap between the segments. Inside the arc segment function, we calculate the outer and inner radii based on the stroke width. We also determine the start and end angles for the arcs to ensure they are rounded correctly. Now, we will create the four quadrants by reflecting the top right arc. We will use transformations to create the bottom right, bottom left, and top left arcs, ensuring they are positioned correctly. Finally, we will add each quadrant to the scene. Make sure to set the fill colors for each quadrant to differentiate them visually, similar to the Apple Watch activity ring. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a circle with rounded ends for each quadrant, you can simplify your approach by using Quartz 2D's rounded end cap strokes. This makes the code much easier. First, define the radius and scene size. Then, create the top right arc segment and add it to the scene. Next, reflect the top right path to create the bottom right arc. And repeat this process for the bottom left and top left arcs, changing colors for each. Finally, Present the scene and ensure the live view is set up for continuous execution. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create a circle with rounded ends for each quadrant, you can use a filled path instead of a stroked segment. This prevents overlapping end caps during collisions. The code defines an arc segment function that calculates the path for each quadrant. It uses transformations to reflect the path for the other quadrants. Finally, the paths are added to the scene with different colors for each quadrant, creating a visually appealing design. Now 
And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If it did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.